Okay, I'm making a video how to build this dive float. Made a list. Tools that you'll need. Power drill, reciprocating saw with a metal blade, tape measure, get a hammer, a lighter, PVC pipe cement, a ratchet wrench with a 3 quarter inch socket, and a 7 16th drill bit. Accessories, a dive flag, a 23 foot long retractable dog leash, a fish clip stringer, this right here, that uh, just hangs down under the belly, and some nylon rope, or you can get uh, that yellow float boat rope. There's my two dogs, they're going to help me out today. What's up? This is Daisy, this is Ruby, what's up guys? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, supplies to build this, you have three boat bumpers. I bought these at Costco for 23 bucks. It was a three pack. I don't even know if you live by Costco if you're, or if they have it in stock. Um, go to a boat store. Three nylon straps. These come in a pack. You get them at the hardware store. I went to Home Depot for everything. I cut them to length. Use the lighter to burn the ends, melt them, just so they don't fray. 15 feet of 1 inch PVC piping. Uh, you'll have to just cut it up into the different lengths you need. Uh, you, what you want to make sure is from this connector to this connector that it's the same length as from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. That's where I came up with this length so that it can fit on there. And then that's the same for this third bumper going this way. You'll need four one inch by one inch by half inch corners. Now, this is one inch, one inch, and then it's a half inch threaded spout that comes off on the end here. You need four one inch T's. That's what these are. One inch, one inch, one inch here. It's a T. You have one, two, three, and four. You need one one inch by one inch by half inch T right here in the center on the top. It's one inch on either side, and then it's a half inch threaded spout that comes off. You need two one inch elbows, one here, one here, four half inch threaded PVC pipes. That's what these guys are down here, these black pipes. That would go up to your sprinkler head. Uh, I, I believe I bought five inch or six inch in length. They're threaded. You thread those into these corners, and then just cut off whatever excess you don't need. These boat bumpers, this half inch pipe fits perfectly snug right in through the holes. You need one two inch by half inch double threaded connector. This cap right here is connected to this T with I believe a two inch double threaded half inch connector. You need one one inch threaded cap that screws on to that uh, double threaded pipe. Excuse me. You need one eye bolt with the nut washer and lock washer. That's this eye bolt that's under here. I drilled a hole through the cap, and in the inside, I used a washer, a lock washer, and then a nut to secure it on there. I guess you could buy an eye screw, a screw that has an eye on it, and just screw it in through a smaller hole that you drill. I just chose to do it that way. It seemed more secure. Uh, one eye screw, a smaller eye screw. I drew a, a, drilled a small pilot hole in there and screwed that in there. This is where the retractable dog leash passes through there. I have a washer on that line to keep the knot that I tied from passing through the eye of that eye screw. Two large, no, two clips, one large and one small. I chose a clip like this, seemed to work really well. So I can attach this, and then the other clip, the smaller one, I mean, it, it can be even from like a keychain, just whatever floats your boat or floats your buoy. Uh, just to attach my nylon rope with. One horseshoe threaded pin ring. I don't know what it's called. That's what I call it. It's the shape of a horseshoe. Um, mine is just the right diameter to fit through on the outside of this pipe. And it's got a threaded pin in here that you can unscrew and take out. The reason I like that 
is because if I ever break my fish clip stringer, I can take it off and put a new one on. And I like the fact that it just screws in there and it's really strong. And then you need two five inch by half inch bolts. Uh, they're five inches long. I don't exactly remember what the measurement is, but it, it literally is like the, out, the outer diameter of these threads is a half an inch, eight sixteenths. The reason for that is I take the seven sixteenth drill bit and these T's right here, because I could not find a, t, a PVC pipe T that had a half inch threaded spout, they had corners but not a T. I took these T's right here in the middle of this frame and I drilled a 7 16th hole straight in as center as I could. This bolt diameter on the outside is 8 16th. It's just 1 16th wider than that hole. So I took my 3 quarter inch socket, which is what the head of the bolt is, I put that socket on my power drill and I forced, I forced drilled it into this T connector causing it to make its own threads and then I took the socket wrench the ratchet wrench and screwed them in gently just snug snug enough that it holds with the washer so that it holds the bumper up onto the frame oh and the bolt on the head of the bolt is marked FH if that helps got everything at uh, Home Depot. Alright, so the reason I use a retractable dog leash is that's 23 feet of rope I don't have to deal with every time I surface it retracts back in but then I just have about 8 to 10 feet of just cord to give me enough room to surface without hitting my dive buoy. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This thing has been the best dive float I've had. I used a wheel barrel uh, inner tube for a while there. Not bad until I caught a bass and its spine popped the inner tube and there goes that. So I wanted something that was very durable, very stable. People can see you, but it's just convenient. When this is sitting in the water, that's what it looks like. A stringer hangs underneath on one side and then as I swim, this pulls out and follows me. I've used it many times. It works really well. I have no complaints. Um, the PVC pipe cement, what I did was all of, all of these fittings here, I just hammered together, just really snug. I mean, they're so snug that it pretty much holds itself together. However, I did glue this pipe into this fitting and into this one and into this one and the same on the other side because this is pretty much the handle I pick it up from that and I walk around with it I don't ever want it to come undone fall on the ground so those parts I glued I definitely did not necessitate uh, even a small jar of cement but I don't know if they make them smaller than that so all right there you go there's my dive buoy